So the first thing we need to select is the diameter of the cutter. So if I click here and select tool filled, so if we select a two flute straight cutter, half inch diameter, so we'll select that tool. So we have the section diameter and the start and ending position. That will give us a section diameter that's been turned around to two and a half inches. So 2.5 inches is what we'll put in that field. And now we can go give us our starting and ending position. So we're gonna use those parameters, 5.5 and 12.5 inches. Um, here in our starting position, 5.5, ending position, 12.5. And we're now ready to push finish and save. We can now generate our G code. Now let's go to the machine and see what these cutting results actually do to the part. So just like we program, the cutter comes down to the starting position directly off of the material and then travels across the part to machine its first flat section. The indexing process then takes place and this whole thing repeats itself around the circumference of this part. Seacam Pro automatically calculated how many sides are to be evenly spaced out around the circumference of this part based on the size of the cutter. All the cutting advantages shown here were automatically implemented in Seacam Pro.